Spoilers will follow in this video for The Last Jedi, so if you have not seen the movie yet, please do so before watching this video, as we will be discussing in depth a key scene and its impact on the Star Wars universe moving forward. One last time, I am absolutely not kidding, there are major spoilers for The Last Jedi that will follow. In the third act of The Last Jedi, after Kylo Ren has taken Rey to his master Snoke, Snoke explains Rey's power in the Force, but also reveals that she has become a great threat to the First Order and the Supreme Leader himself as her light was created to counter the growing darkness of Kylo Ren. Because of this, and her growing power in the light side of the Force, Snoke needs to eliminate Rey. Snoke now realizes Luke is not the only threat. But first, he needs to look into her mind and see where to find his other greatest threat, the last Jedi, Luke Skywalker. Although Rey resists his power for a time, she is ultimately overpowered by the raw strength and experience of Snoke. As Rey is knelt before Kylo, Snoke orders his apprentice to strike her down, confident that he will do so without hesitation and without remorse, despite the belief of Rey that Kylo will turn to the light and be redeemed. Snoke, on the other hand, senses no conflict, no weakness, and no light within Kylo Ren. As Snoke peers into the mind of Kylo, he sees that he is ready to strike down his true enemy and continue down his dark path. As Kylo holds his lightsaber ready to cut down Rey, he uses the Force to manipulate the Skywalker lightsaber that now sits at Snoke's side. Using the Force, Kylo activates the Skywalker lightsaber and cuts Snoke in half, killing him instantly. And just as Yoda explained to Luke Skywalker, the apprentice now outmatches the master. But how how did this happen if only moments before this occurred, Snoke was so confident there was no conflict within Kylo Ren, and that Kylo was in fact still a dark side warrior and loyal to the First Order and Snoke himself? In reality, much of what Snoke sensed was actually still very much true. Kylo was under the influence of the dark side of the Force. What changed, however, was his loyalty to Snoke. Kylo was still very much using the dark side of the Force, but instead of using it on Rey, he continued to use it on Snoke and destroy the past, paving the way for the future. In the beginning of The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren heard exactly what Snoke wanted from him. Snoke desired a new Darth Vader to govern over the Empire that Snoke would rule. Snoke wanted a slave, just as Vader had been for Sidious. But this is not what Kylo wants, and he is shaken out of this by Snoke. By crushing the helmet he made to resemble his grandfather, Father Darth Vader, he crushes the past and now resolves to do what Vader never did, rule. At this very moment, in the beginning of the film, Snoke becomes the enemy of Kylo Ren. In the confrontation within Snoke's throne room, Snoke looks into Kylo's emotions and stands in the Force. We learn here that he cannot sense specific thoughts, but rather is looking where Kylo lies in the Force itself. When he looks, Snoke sees someone who is still very much a dark side user, and who has not let Rey pull him from his dark path and turn to the light. By seeing this within his apprentice, Snoke comes to the conclusion that he will strike down Rey without mercy mercy, and that there is no conflict within him, which is actually true. Kylo has no conflict within him concerning the light and the dark. He is now fully a dark side user but he will use that dark side to kill his master. Snoke's fatal flaw was not sensing the ambition of Kylo. Kylo values Rey, but values power more so, and thus, that is the path he chooses. Kylo desires all old things to die, and to rise as the new leader of the galaxy, as supreme leader Kylo Ren. And in order to rise as the supreme leader, Snoke must be eliminated. But that is how Kylo Ren was able to kill Snoke without Snoke sensing what he was about to do. Snoke was was overconfident, just like the Emperor before him, and failed to see that his apprentice was ready to betray him, moving past his role as a servant and becoming the master. But what are your thoughts on this, and potentially the most shocking scene in all of The Last Jedi? Is this a quality explanation as to why Kylo was able to kill Snoke, or were you disappointed with the way Snoke met his ultimate fate? As another question, do you believe that we will find out who Snoke was in the films, or do you think that we will learn in additional content? Be sure to let me know what you thought of The Last Jedi in the comments below, and let me know what you think the future holds for the new Supreme leader of the First Order. Also, stay tuned on the channel as we analyze and explain far more details concerning The Last Jedi and all news that will follow about Episode 8, 9, and beyond. Thanks as always so much for watching. Your viewership means the world to me. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.